right, just about ready for live action. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. Here's Bruce Buffer. You ready to fight? Ready. Do it. All right, so here's Alexa Grasso, one of the best fighters in this flyweight division. Came into the UFC primarily as a boxer, but the grappling evolution has truly been a sight to behold. And now it has gotten to a point in terms of the well-roundedness for Alexa Grasso. There is no safe area in mixed martial arts. We'll see if she mixes in the takedowns here tonight. One, two there by Grasso. And blocks the shot there. Oh, high kick. Nice punch to the head. And they are exchanging leather early. Nice body shot. Oh, that was a big one there. Oh, nice straight punch there by O'Neal. Leg kick got home by her there. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. There's her patented leg kick. Oh, and there's another combination. She's turning this into a sparring session. Just high volume, and her opponent's got to make some adjustments. The opponent has to make adjustments, but she has to interrupt those combos. When she gets going into her combination, opponent needs to interrupt that when she is this. Free flowing, it is very difficult to deal with. Pretty strong jab there by Grosso. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Oh, big punch land. Oh, nice. Nice. Look at how she drives her knee. Right into her opponent's midsection. Level change there, goes for the takedown. Posture's up here and now going to the body with that big strike. Nicely done by Grosso. That was a swift transition. O'Neal getting touched here repeatedly with these ground and pound strikes from the top. Referee's not gonna bail you out. And there you go, again, half guard. Oh, right into Mount. She is so dominant from the top position. Nice slip by her there. She's a border. Oh, these ground strikes are just brutal. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Grosso. Oh, it looks like she's setting up for a submission now. She is so good on the ground. Oh, compromising spot here. Oh, somehow she gets out. I thought it was over. I thought it was over, but that's one thing you know. Never underestimate these fighters in their submission defense. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays. You knew she came in with the book on her as a kicker, and her opponent did nothing to adjust. Her opponent didn't check one kick. So why would she not continue down that path? Why would she not continue to throw her hands just to set up those beautiful, nasty kicks? And she is landing them with full force every time she throws them. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with round two. All right, here we go with our next round. Previous round. I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. She can't possibly know where she is right now. After taking such a massive hit. Well, pretty good recovery by her opponent after being stunned, but we see this all the time, right? If you don't close the deal when you have that opportunity, your opponent's back in the fight and can potentially win. Especially with this opponent. This opponent's so dangerous all the time. It does not matter that she hurt her before. She's gonna have to close the door if she gets a hurt again. Oh! Could be the beginning of the end here. Just misses there with the left. All right, so it looks as though, yes, she's starting to deal with some swelling now, so defensively, we've got to figure out a way to short things up. She's tough, John. We know that she's tough. We've always known 
that she's tough. But what she, what she has to do is she has to be a little bit more active in her defenses if she doesn't want to get all beat up. win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Grosso. Dominant position attained by her. All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yes, yeah, she's at her most dangerous when she has the half guard because she's so brutal with the ground and pound. She likes to go after fighters and really wear on them, force them to make decisions to give their back so that she can She's got the head trap now, guillotine choke coming. Oh, that grilly is tight. Oh, man, that was slick. Oh, posture's up and now goes with the big strike to the body. Well done there by Grosso. All right, so her submission attempt is denied yet again. She's going to keep going for it, but the defense has held up every step of the way. Well, she, she, has, she has to keep going for it. Because if she wants a chance, she's got to keep trying to throw up submissions. Unfortunately, she is trying to submit one of the best grapplers in the division. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Nice one, two there. Well, she has had her striking going from the outset, and she continues to invoke damage there upstairs. She said that her opponent was tough. She said that she knew it, but she also said that she thought she relied too much on that toughness, and she is exploiting that. Well, a punch like that would have felled lesser women, but... She survives and gets to fight another round. She's as tough as they come. She's sitting on her bench right now telling her coaches, I'm good. I'm ready to go. That was just a moment. I'm still going to get the victory. I believe she has to change something. She cannot continue to do the same thing and expect a different result. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, so here we go. Third and final round. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by O'Neal. Just out of range with that right hook. Well, how impressive is this young woman? High volume of strikes in the previous round and picking up exactly where she left off here and not really showing any signs of slowing down. She looks like she could go 10 hard fives tonight if need be. Going out of the body with that hook. Well done there by O'Neal. Try to establish that jab. Neil's body really getting bruised up on that right side right now. Got to figure out a way. There probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike. If you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands and she lands very effectively. Back to the feet. Three minutes now to go in the fight. Lands a strike there. Wow, is she applying a lot of pressure here. I'm not sure how much her opponent can take. Clear sense of urgency here as she tries to make sure the judges stay out of it. Looks as though her leg might be hurt here, limping a little bit. All right, I'm gonna put you in this fighter's shoes, okay? She is clearly losing this fight. Time is not her friend right now. You going for the finish or what? I am fighting down on the mountain. Yeah, man, she landed a massive hook. And it has her opponent hurt bad. Well, let's see if she goes back to the hook again. Obviously, there will be a setup. She'll work off of the jab and go back to trying to punctuate the combination with a hook. O'Neal's nose is cut now, and she's starting to get off of her line. So she gets the flush knockout here tonight.
And you got to think this is going to lead to a lot of big fights the rest of the way this year. Big opportunities are presented after you have a performance like this. She did an amazing job and got a massive knockout victory. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 3 minutes, 35 seconds of round number 3. Playing the winner by knockout, Alexa So the Guadalajaran gangster Alexa Grasso getting it done by knockout here tonight. And for a while, she was outpointing people and pretty convincingly, nice to have a finish in one of that magnitude. As the confidence grows, you're going to see Alexa Grasso do more and more of this. She possesses all the skills in order to have these type of performances. Tonight, she put on paper exactly what she intended to.